The series will be on Star on Disney Plus and the full season will be on Fox Italy. So what is the secret of its success in your opinion? Mm -hmm. I think as an audience member, when you watch this show, I think you want to be with them. I think when you watch the 118 driving in the fire truck and get into an emergency, I think, and maybe I'm biased because I am one of them, but I, I watching it, I'm like, you know what? I'd, I'd, I'd trust them and I'd want to be with them. I want to stand next to them as they run into that. And I think there's a feeling of um, family in the show and a kind of misfit family, you know, a family that's just been thrown together and they know that they have each other. And I, I think there's a really hopeful feeling that comes from that. And I think that's what really clicks and, and resonates with people. I mean, it's excited, but I don't want to be with you guys because I'm scared. Okay. Sorry. So <laughs> the series talk about some very weird situation. I mean, what they have mm -hmm. to do, it's madness. So mm -hmm. what is the most weird one you have ever had? The weirdest one uh, for me was... It was during the first season and it was in our Halloween episode and I had to pull a tapeworm out of a guy, out of his bum. Um, and, and to just sit there in this little ambulance, Pete, who plays Bobby, is next to me and just be, and the thing that we were, um, the, the, the tapeworm was this, like it was made of rubber and if I pulled too hard, it was going to snap. So I really am very <laughs> gently threading this thing from this guy's <laughs> leg. And there's, there's a string on it, um, like a clear string. So somebody has it on a stick up above and is like moving their head like it's a puppet. And I'm feeding this thing out of this guy. That was probably one of the, my, my weirder moments in the 911 set. Um, but strangely, I look back very fondly on it. Would mm. you like a spin-off dedicated to your character? You can say yes or no. <laughs> Thank you for giving me those options. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I don't think now would be the time for it. I, I like I like seeing Buck in the, the world that he lives in and, and having those relationships with the people that, that he works with right now. So who knows down the road, but, but right now, I think, I think he's good where he is.